again, my friends, and you are my friends, and welcome back to the full-time show following a victory. I know, a victory, a 2-1 victory at home to Burton, as you all know. I can see you all flying into the chat, which we absolutely love. This is the full-time show, and for those that are new, never seen this before, uh, where you been? It's the, it's the hottest show around, but... This is the part of the show where I want to hear from you. You don't want to hear from me. I'm going to hand it over in a second to my two contributors to have their say on their thoughts and feelings of the second half. But overall, I want to hear from you, either in the chat section or, as always, live on this show. It's not a closed, it's not a closed show. Anyone and everyone is welcome to come and share their thoughts. I've got Stuart, who woke up shoes, obviously, with a, a, the right man at the right time. Matthew Neal, maybe three points, but an awful game. Emerson Feather, this thing is so poor, only two points off top. That's right. If you're unfamiliar with the league table, we are currently sitting in fifth. Played 18, 32 points, two off hole. We played Peterborough. Uh, yes, we played Peterborough next. You're in third. So was I was I too harsh at half time when I said there the stinks of death? Maybe this is paper over the cracks for you. Maybe this is the the the, the, the turning point. I don't know. However you're feeling, however you want to say it. Go on the show today and say it. Just ask for the link in the chat. As always, we do have some donation links. Um, so if you do wish to do support the show and help us to bring better coverage and go further, and I think the times are coming in the future to go further, then, of course, we absolutely love you to join us and become part of the Talking Town Hall of Fame. Callie, you think he got headhunted after that, but he didn't make, need to make a challenge. He could lose his head when we were desperate thinking about acting away last year. That's Dobber with the stamp. I'll just bring in uh, Stephen Thompson. Stephen, welcome in, my man. Um... What were your thoughts after that second half? I said death at half time. I said it wasn't good. Uh, obviously, a win. A win's a win. But what do you think? Uh, it, it was pretty bollocks, I think, overall. Um, <laughs> to be honest with you. It was awful. I mean, that second goal was so scrappy. I mean, I, I did say I was, a, I was a huge fan, you know, and he, he must have heard me today. Um, right place, right time. Right place, right time. Absolutely. A blind, nut, a blind well, squirrel finds a nut occasionally. Well, yeah, I mean, it wasn't like it was a well-worked goal with a decent move before it. You know, it was scrappy and it was lucky. But, I mean, I'll take the points, but it was awful. Against the bottom of the table sides, that was terrible. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Well, but but let's, let's break it down. You know you know me, Steve. I like to be balanced. So, let's break mm -hmm. it down. We're sitting, in, we're sitting inside the top six. We are two points off top. We're not... We're not the... The leading man but as Paul Lambert said last year it's better to be um, uh, not being hunted I think he said something on those lines where we, we were running away with it and he didn't like the fact that we were the ones being hunted I think he said something it was like it's better to be the hunter than the hunted that's what he said yeah, I think it was something along those lines wasn't it and I think he's talking crap because I would much rather be <laughs> the table being the hunted than clapping for a win against Burton Albion to finish or to, to sit fifth in the league. You know, I'm not sure. That, I mean, Hull, I think, lost tonight, but they're still right up there. And, you know, they're not doing too bad. Um, I'd much rather be no. that. Okay, uh, I've got uh, Mark Dowling. I'm fairly confident after that display, we've done enough to stay in this division. I'm Gemma, I remember saying those exact same words at Brentford on Boxing Day when we went 4 2 up. And I, I said to, I said after the game, well, you know, at least we're avoiding relegation this year. And it was such a sort of comment because we were obviously at the time top. How times have changed. Um, you know, Burton, uh, Curtis, Burton at the bottom of the table. Please don't make this result more than what it is. Well, I'm not making it anything. I want you to tell me what it is. What do you guys feel this result is? Either in the chat or come on the show and tell me what you think it is. Is it still time at the bar for Lambert? Is it time at the bar for Evans? I say Brentford there, only a couple of years ago, not long ago, we were top of the table in the championship. Now we're sitting and we're, and we're debating, was a 2-1 victory where we huffed and we puffed a good result at home to Burton? I don't know. I, this is not my part of the show. I've, I've done my talking. Eric Clacton, that was F for Fluent. Amy Downs wants a link. It's coming your way, Amy. Uh, Blue Soap, three points, but performance awful. Mr. Moles, <laughs> welcome in. What did you think? We've heard what Steve's thought. A couple of zingers in there, one-liners. What do you think? Because at half time you were fairly happy. You were you were saying it's better than what we've had pre previously. Well, can't be any less happy, can I? Because uh, we just got three points. Lovely jubbly. So, is this for you a springboard? Is this for you the turning point? As I saw my webcam out. Uh, I'm not sure. It's well, 
it could be a turning point, but today's display was no different from any other display I've seen this season. Well, other than the early games where we actually looked something, but of late, that's just more of the same. Just we've had a worse team we're up against and, you know, we got a result in the end, but that's what we've got to be happy about. This team could have been a slip up for us. It's one of the ones where we should be beating them. And we have beaten them, so job done. Let's move on to the next one. But it wasn't dominant. And a lot of people are saying, and rightly so in the chat, I'm going to get behind these people. Yeah, but we're crap. We're not going to dominate any team. Get over thinking. (laughs) Get over thinking. uh, Unless some miracle happens and we actually is, uh, (laughs) you know... Uh, 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 yeah, uh, unless something suddenly changes because there's so many players with their heads down or they're playing for themselves it's and, and not as a group. It, it's just a bunch of headless chickens. So unless something miraculously changes, we're not going to dominate any team. Not going to dominate and Especially as team. that's potentially the worst team in this division. Well, currently it is, and it can't keep a clean sheet as we found out on the podcast on Sunday for a lot of, a lot of games. Uh, and for large parts of today's game, Neil, did we not make them look like they were Burton of the Championship, not Burton of bottom of the table in League One? Yeah, but we're not Ipswich of the Championship either, are we? So, times have changed. No, that's, that's fair. We're that's both fair. just two bang average teams in a bang average league. Uh, Tyrell Leakes, the result was a result, but it wasn't a great performance. And against the better side, we wouldn't have won that game. Still need a lot of improvement. Joe uh, Joe Dick, 92, surely that should be a way to look at this and did not sound it. Johnny Duncan, matched by bottom of the table. It's a false hope for Lambert because of a lucky position in the table. Ben, welcome back in from Saturday's show. Neil says we shouldn't be dominating any team. That's just not who we are. It's not in our makeup. What do you say? We, we can dominate ourselves if we kick the ball against the wall. Um, I, th- I think I think you're absolutely right, and I think any maybe it's my cynical nature that's kind of crept in there, like an invading army force over the season. But any possible green shoots that we've seen today, and I'm happy we won because in my team I like to see us win three points. But we won against utter shit tonight. We actually made him look quite well. Um, let, let's have the conversation about whether this is a turning point about mm-hmm. six o'clock on Saturday, because we all know the script. We play the shit. There's a 50-50 chance we're going to win. We play anybody in the top 10, anybody, and we will lose. So I said on the weekend, I got a lot of crap for it in the forum, forums. That I'll the ignore them. Tonight doesn't, now, well, it, the result tonight doesn't actually matter. It doesn't mean anything. It's going to make me feel good for an hour. And I'm, I thought um, Bennett's goal was really good until, of course, he went off injured because we dropped um, one player every single game, of course. But the, the the real test is Saturday, and we all know, we all know what's coming. If we put that performance in there tonight, or the last twenty games um, against uh, Portsmouth on the weekend, um, Peterborough on the weekend, sorry. Oh, Holy Christ, that? we're in for a, we're in for a really really winning. But overall, there's nothing I've seen tonight that's going to make me think that we're going to be anything but absolutely humiliated on the weekend. God, I feel okay, That's Steve, terrible. before I ask you to come back on that, Steve, I've got some comments. Jamie Walton, agree, Neil, absolutely talking stents. Callie, the legend that is Callie. Neil is spot on. Relegation forms, great wins against bottom side teams. Yeah. Uh, Curtis Yates, wrong, Neil. We are interested of the championship relegation year. Um, <laughs> then we've got Alan Hilliard. <laughs> I'd rather watch Full Monty on Ice. At least Linda the side, he still has a good front too. Oh, I think Mrs. Downs might like that one. Um, we are the biggest subs in the league. Uh, uh, Ivan Flatley, we've won. We're joint second. Come on, you Blues. I like that, Irvin. Love the optimism. Love the optimism. Yeah, I like it. Speak Steve. to you Saturday. <laughs> ben says we couldn't dominate ourselves. He says that it's his false hope. He says it's going to make you feel good for an hour. Does it make you feel good for an hour? Because quite frankly, it makes me feel good for about 10 minutes. <laughs> Steve? That is not a position to freeze in, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Neil? I, I, is, is, we, we've got the three points, so we've just got to be happy, haven't we? You know, it, nothing's going to change overnight. So let's, let's push aside the fact that we're as dross as always. 
we've we've got the win we need. Let's move on to the next one and and hope that we can pull something out of the bag because well, I like otherwise that. I quite like that. That's the acknowledgement of the current shite that we're in, but also that kind of you know hope that as football fans we all kind of carry with us. Is this going to be the is this going to be the spark? Well, obviously not because the best player on the pitch tonight, Bennett, who I thought was at, who had was having the best game since he joined us. Of yep. course, he's now injured, which means he won't be back till March. Um, I think the biggest problem tonight, I, I like to say, I thought our defence was fantastic tonight, I've got to say, and it could have been embarrassing. Let's take away the 88th minute, um, like almost open goal miss that they had. Um, I think the biggest problem we have tonight, like a lot of games, and it's down to the partly formation, partly players, with the complete lack of um, attacking nuance. We there are, I think there are points now where we do get it past the defence to the midfield. And we try and I saw tonight a bit, we were trying to kind of go through the right wing and it was kind of working. But our attacking is awful. We are we are impotent in attacks. The only thing I can say is impotent. We cannot yeah. um it's it's like trying to thread an earthworm through a Capri Sun bottle, you know. It, it just can't be done. With any any defense that has any kind of organization, um, it kind of falters us. And I think part of that is of course. I felt sorry for Jackson tonight. I don't have a lot of sympathy for the man because I think he's picked up more than he's, you know. Yeah, but the, Ben, the, Ben, the, Ben, we make any any team, whether they look, you know, whether they come in an absolute shambles or yeah, not, yeah, yeah, look yeah. suddenly really organised. Like Burton is shipping goals said, like the Titanic shipped water and suddenly they're, they're tight than exactly anything. I said on Saturday, word for word, if you can't score, play us. If you're looking bad, play us. If, you, if you're trying Absolutely. to try the defence, play us because we will elevate a team. But as always, I like balance on this show. So I'm getting a few comments in the chat section about be positive. Well, I tell you what, guys, if you want to be positive, come on the show and be positive because I'd love to put you on and share the positivity. I want that. I want that balance. I don't want one side. So if you are feeling positive, let's have it. Come on the show and tell us why you're feeling positive. Is this the turning point for you? Is this the time where we turn and become a a top six side? Ben, before I let you go, I've got Amy waiting to come in. Cool. You're looking like the milk tray man, my man. That, you're looking, mm-hmm. It's a good look. The milk, Come on, the Cadbury milk tray man. You know who it is. You've you got a good look going on there, brother. I appreciate that, man. This is um, this, this, this has got to go. And, and I tell you, it's, it's after a game, watching that performance all this season, I, I, I shouldn't look anything other than absolutely atrocious. But um, luckily, I, I have a dimmer switch in here, so it really elevates how I look, which is great. So, <laughs> well, you're looking that, good. Man. We appreciate you. And we'll hopefully see you Saturday when we've just, when we've just battered the posh. <laughs> <laughs> see you then. See you <laughs> it's then. coming. Amy, you know who the milk tray man is. Obs. Obs. I, I think that was a good likeness. That was a good yeah. comparison. <laughs> Thank you very much. So We do love Ben. We do love oh, Ben. We do love Ben. He's a good, good guy <laughs> with a fantastic house. Where are yep. you coming in from, Amy? Are you coming in from Negativity Town or Positivity Central? Where, where, where are you? Wh- which side are you coming from? I actually completely completely forgot we scored the winner <laughs> just, huh. the way we played was diabolic and that isn't just down to the pino martin it was just that is depressing that is that is a team that we should be easily beating and we could have done the way we came out i woke up my other half came down from doing bedtime and i should actually be shush because otherwise i'll wake them up now but he said to me that i woke our baby because i cheered so loud when we scored the first i was like so shocked happy clapper is it in it but i was just i was gobsmacked and then it was like 97 minutes by the end wasn't it so it's like Mm. and the rest of it was just and even the Hughes goal just felt. But why, is it I mean? feeling, why is it feeling hollow for so many people? Because you're your club, you're wearing the the shirt there, the badge. It, you mean something. The stadium, the people, the fans, everything. Random why? choice because it matches my pajamas, oh, my Gryffindor yes. pajamas. It's got Horidison on the back. I, I won't try and show you, but I think I think that was I was I was uh, feeling the Premier League. Good days with the Horizon and shirt, and maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's the problem. I said to you on Saturday, I feel very similar to what I did when we lost to Ackman and Stanley in the cup the year that we went down, when it just felt hopeless. And I feel like there's no point in watching the rest of the season because I know exactly how it's going to go. How's I know it exactly go? How Tell it's me right go. now. Tell me the Christmas Tower right now. How is this going to go? 
well, I'm going to, I, 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 we'll be lucky if we're tenth. And it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Question that I asked my mates today on WhatsApp uh, this evening while we're watching the game. Does it matter if we don't beat the top teams, but we beat the, uh, the rest? Now you're subscribing to me and Paul's way of thinking. <laughs> hey, I do have, I it. do have the balance as peed off as I am. I do have the balance. Does it matter when we're managing to scrape these goals? Like you guys, like Neil was saying, what matters is scraping these, these wins, but this is what mattered in the championship, scraping the wins when we weren't playing so great in the league, in league one, we should be, sorry, we should be fucking battering teams like this. We should be well, absolutely storming, especially yeah, the way we came out of the blocks. Well, let's bring in the voice of positivity, Mr. Neil Moles. Um, do you agree with that? <laughs> where, where do you stand on what Amy's just said there? In a, a you know, a lovely world, we should be battering teams, but we're not quite the team we were. And through all the years of FA Cup draws against lower league teams, we've never battered any of them. How far have we ever gone? So... Okay. From that alone, it shows you we drop down the leagues. We're we're not good enough to press our authority. We we just go down to their level, and we we try a little bit of something, don't we? But Burton are well organised. We need more organisation in our team. But what ability we do have? Uh, we ended up getting a result out of it. Uh, Hawkins, for him, he actually had an all right game. So, no, nope, not having that. Moving that on, Steve. Um, <laughs> Amy says you don't have to beat the top teams, or does it matter if you don't beat the top teams, but you beat everybody else? Does it really matter yeah, in the long run think, if you promoted? You think last season when we were absolutely pushing at the top there? Yeah. And we needed to beat the teams around us, the top teams. Mm -hmm. It didn't happen. You slide down and you slide out of the top. So at what point do you think you can get away with not beating the top teams? If you're wanting to be in and around the top there, you have to beat them because you, you're, you're basically giving away double points. But do you? Because... There are 23 As we've other seen teams. Tonight. The so bigger team, there's been some really big results tonight. Uh, Sunderland lost, I think. Sunderland drew. Peterborough lost. There was some. There was some big results tonight. We'll have, that, that we'll have more of that on in. the show. We'll have more of that on the show. <laughs> we'll have a lot more of that, please. Okay, right. So Hawkins isn't the greatest player in the world, but for him, That's pretty, how pretty many polite, times? Though. How many times did he actually bring others into play, yep. bring the ball down and actually yep. do something? He did. However much you lot decide to hate him, I'm just he so actually passionate. did that tonight. I'm with you, Neil. So... I'm with you. I've spent tonight messaging my mates. My mate does not like Caden Jackson. He is wrong. Caden Jackson is a good player. You could see it tonight. You In this see team, he's pace. good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hence why he's on my wardrobe. I like him. But... <laughs> It, it's not about the individual players. Like Hawkins Equality. would be fine if work. he was playing up front with Jackson. But he's not. He gets left up front alone. And, if, and if, Jackson's the same. Jackson needs an oars next to him to be able to convert. And like Murphy and Didzy, the two of them would never have got us to the playoffs if it hadn't. Well, mind, mind you, Didz got Murphy, uh, injured, didn't he? But they would not have been where they were without each other. You need... You yeah. need the two. You can't no. just have the one. Caden Jackson's our best player. I'm not, I'm not even going to get into the, 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 into really? the argument. Thank yeah, you. I will, yeah, I will no clip this. What, in, a what, team that can't, in the first half. In a team that can't, first half. No, 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 no. In a team that can't score goals, a goal scorer is your best player. Simple as that. Until where somebody else goal, decides then? to... What do you mean, where was his goal? He didn't score today. Oh, my God. So Mike Tyson didn't knock someone out in, the, in, in one fight. That means he's not a great fighter. Like, Ollie Hawkins is not going to get the amount of goals score, Caden Jackson. His head's still not there. His head's still not there. No. <laughs> okay. I tell you what, Misery needs um, a, a, an orchestra conductor. And of course, Mr. Misery himself. <laughs> oh, hi, Mike. Hey, guys. <laughs> 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 Just decided to stop on by. 
<laughs> Let me guess. Oh. I won't ask you which side of the city you're coming from. Positivity town or or negative ne negative you know central. What? I'm going to start on a positive. We won. Yes. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Well, that, that's that's as bad as far as I can go, lads and ladies. I have to say. Um, so he. Mike, um, your uh, your audience are waiting for you. I know. Deliver the goods. On a personal level, yep. I've had some fantastic messages of some of the fans. So great, thank you for that. Um, <laughs> tonight, well, I don't know what to say. Yes, Hawkins right. brought in some play, and but he's still shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna clip that. That is a soundboard. <laughs> that is. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't very often disagree with you, Neil. I don't very often disagree with you, Amy. But tonight, I've got to. I mean, yes, he did the simple. I mean, honestly, I think my under 14s would have beat Burton tonight. They were shocking. I was trying to be don't... positive. I didn't say he was good. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Um. I just, I mean, Mill said probably, I think every other sentence McMill tonight said, we need, well, you know, we should be playing 4 4 2. We should be mm -hmm. playing 4 4 2. I think he said, well, Bournemouth, I think um, he said, um, Southampton, Southampton, you know, they've done really well. Yeah, playing yeah. well. I know they're in the Premier League and runs in the Championship and everything, but let's be realistic, guys. That looked more like a relegation battle tonight than it really did us. Seriously challenging to get out of this league. I mean, we were yet again dog shit. For the first five minutes, I was like, oh, this is different. Um, and I was like, yeah, intense was the, intensity was there, but that lasted like five minutes. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm left deflated. I know we've won, but let's be honest with you. Like, I, we should be beating these teams. We should be wiping these teams off the face of the planet really you know uh the problem is that i keep coming back to it formation and lambert you know uh, it's reality you know we can talk about we can talk about what evans evans the destroyer you know i mean this is this is like a, this whole club is like an episode like the film flash gordon you know evil and you know and it's just oh Oh, you know, I can't wait for the death ray that Evans is going to throw at us at some point. Will you, know? you be protesting, Mike? Will you be on the protest? What, on the 9th of Jan? Yep. I mean, really? 9th of Jan? Yeah, against the Swindon game. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean that's five, five, six games away. We should be protesting now. Well, well, Mike, I think I said you earlier. These, where, where's all these fans? No disrespect. Sorry, I didn't interrupt you. But where's no, all okay. these? Where's all these positive and, and, and fans that have been moaning and groaning about how bad this club is? They've been doing it on social media and all this lot, right? We should be, we, we should, I mean, not just, all it would take is 20 fans to block the cup arc of that club so the players can't get in to make a point. I mean, how hard is that to do? I said on this, on Sunday's show, Mike, we, we need someone to step forward and lead us. Are you that leader? Are you going to step forward and say, come on, you guys, this is what we're going to do? No, because I'm, I'm kind of no, with I, you. Yeah, no, yeah, the 9th yeah, of Jan saying, yeah. is a good starting point, and I, I get yeah. the needs to be organised properly, but equally, it does almost feel a bit of a... If we wait Permission long enough... Permission protest. No, if we wait long enough, something might have happened that means we haven't got to. Because you're talking a big, busy yeah. Christmas period. Yeah, you know, the other side of the coin. The other side of the coin is this: if it's planned and the club know it's planned, you know, um, it might force again. It might force Evans into doing something more constructive and more positive. You know, exactly. there is. I, I can see both sides of it, and as much as I want it now, and I'm a bit demanding because of that, I can see the other side of the coin. You know, as much as I, I, I get a little bit annoyed when happy clappers decide they want to put their two pence worth in. Well, come on in, Mike, go out there and do something about it. Well, no disrespects, but, you know, I'm one man. You know, and that, and yeah. really, like I said, all it would take is 20 fans to We're block the 19 car more. Park. Well, exactly, 20 or 20 or 30 fans to block the car park, or, you know, on the next home game to stop the fans players getting in delay the kickoff and that all it would do all it would do is it would it would be in the press it would make news and it would you know we could all social distance i guess two meters apart hold a piece of string or something and it, all it would do is stop it, it would make a point <laughs> do you know what i mean I just, what is this a cbb's but it does, it well, does take... to keep in with the covid 
Mike, as someone who took part in the BLM protests over the summer, it does take organisation. It takes yeah. time. You've got to get give everyone a chance to get together. You've got to get a chance to get like the, it promoted. So people, if they want to lend their voice to it, they're there. You've also got to get the police involvement because they will be expecting a few people there. I would rather turn up. I mean, I'm not going to because I'm in leave. Sorry. <laughs> Love you all lots and want to support, but I'm too bloody far away. But you, 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 need, you do need the time to do it appropriately because what else are you going to do? Have a few booze at the ground? Okay, Harry Butcher. What else can Harry we do? Butcher, Harry Butcher makes a fantastic point. Sorry, wrong one. As always. Just say we win every game until the 9th of Jan. Will it still happen? Of course does it maybe will. depend on, it does it depend on how many top of the league? You know it. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you'd get ten percent of the fans turn up, and that was that's all you'd get. You'd get ten percent, and after after fans that have been moaning and groaning have probably been watching, the, probably going to the game, supporting the supporting the regime, supporting the ideology and philosophy of of uh, Lambert's. Uh, Four three three, which again, again, prove again tonight. It was just, I oh, look, we, yeah, we have. Oh, I don't even want to talk about right. the game, Johnny. Oh. Should it be happening now? Would you join Mike? Would he need eighteen other men and women? <laughs> I get the point. Thank you. Um, come, on, you come on, Johnny. <laughs> mm, come on, Johnny. <laughs> um, I get the point that it needs to happen now because if we win every single game between now and then, there's going to be no need for it. But that's the same philosophy is, um, you know, you want it to go so badly wrong that everything changes it anyway, and you, know, you don't have to do it. But, mm. it, look, tonight was, was actually probably the one, of my, one of the most entertaining games that we've seen this season. No. Right? No, 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 hang on. It was exciting. It was, it, but, do you know why? Because it was even... And it was end to end. And they are bottom on the, the table, ain't they? They are shit. And do you know what? They give us a good fucking game, didn't they? That's where we are. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> where we are. I said that okay, it was so, a um, relegation battle. Johnny's comparing the Bristol stool chart. <laughs> They're all shite. It's just different varieties of it. It's <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I think that we, we, we can't lose sight in the fact that where we are in the, in the table, it's... Johnny, it which, really... which game on. did you think was better, Saturday or tonight? Football-wise, which game was better? Tonight. <laughs> it, I suppose it, you have to say... I think we, we were, weren't losing it, two it, at it, half we, time. We, we, we were more thinking it was better football Saturday night, then? We were more attacking. Yeah, Saturday afternoon, um, we were more attacking yeah. tonight, um, and you know, Bennett showed some good. And I know everyone's Kane Hawkins. He's not Daryl Murphy, right? He's a poor man's Daryl Murphy, right? Because he doesn't score goals. He just tries to get make a nuisance of himself, stand there, beat. He's got ball. no dizzy. Hopefully, the ball will just come off him, and someone will get a rebound. But sometimes that's all you need, you know. Someone like um, now, I I believe that Norwood um, is a sort of striker. If you speak to any of the Tranmere fans, they'll say the whole team was set up around him. Everyone, when they got the ball, they laid the ball off to him. He was the one that had was putting the trigger all the time. So a striker like Hawkins is a perfect partner for someone like a fit on fire Norwood. Yeah, I'm not buying <laughs> that. When, Sorry. When we, Sorry. Saw, when we saw Norwood up front with Jackson, come on. When we saw them up front with Jackson, they were both in there and they had the equal amount of goals. There was times when Jackson should have passed Norwood and he didn't because he was going to have a goal because he was going hungry and vice versa. And they they, they they put the fingers on, their heads down, they go for a goal. They, they don't, Norwood and Jackson would not play as a partnership as well. They say, an unselfish striker, you can't really call him a striker, really, can you? an unselfish target man such as Hawkins. So it's difficult, but I do believe we are we are very light front. We're struggling from. But is he doing anything that you wouldn't expect from Tyree Simpson? Because he's not Ooh, bringing any quality to the team. He's not gonna. He's not. He's, he's not a target man with bags of goals in him. He's just putting a bit of effort around the place. Well, 
I expect for me, for me, every single player. For me, what I've seen... Team, Tari Tari team, a bit of effort around the place is actually quite something. He gives, yep. Simpson yep. gives away a lot of fouls. Um, well, I don't know if because he's young. First. And it's got well, which is what Simpson does. Well, Fair no. All right, all right. I mean, can I, can I just say, I'll change the subject. Um, anyone else watching I follow, right? <laughs> I think I miss more excitement in the game when they're playing the fucking replays that go on for about half an hour, right? Because, um, <laughs> I spent, Johnny, I spent the whole game. I spent the whole game with my mates telling me what had happened about four minutes ahead. It, it was but, ridiculous. Pardon my French, I'm going to stop swearing. I'm going to stop swearing. But they do, don't they? They do. Wait, okay, there was an instant there. A cat run on the pitch. We're going to roll a replay which lasts about five minutes. And you're going to miss an attempt up the other end of the pitch. And it's. They've got to sort that out. They've got to sort that out. And did anyone else think that Dobber is very, very lucky not to get a red card tonight? 100%. Yeah, quite fortunate. Yeah. Quite fortunate. He, he did run in there. He did, he did put his stud in to, to catch him. And. And he got sent off for something similar earlier in the season. And that's the part of his game he's got to rein in a little bit. And he, he was yeah, trying but... very well. He's still very hot headed, think... isn't he? Yeah, oh, yeah, you're right, Steve. Yeah. Um, my, the only thing I would say is a lot of our young players are getting frustrated. You can yeah, see it in the game. Exactly. Right? You know, yeah. we talk about our strikers, but is there any real service? The only service that. I mean. <laughs> Four four two. I'll talk about four four two, three five two, whatever. I prefer three five two, whatever. But like you know, you get down the wings, cross the ball in. Someone like Hawkins, who's probably better with his head than he is with his feet. Do you know what I mean? Every, I mean, you know, he can head the ball. There's no two ways about it. But how many crosses actually went in tonight? We had Jonathan Douglas taking shots like they were rugby posts. Let's be honest. You know, and I just apparently we had eight shots on goal at half time. I was like, what? Well, did you no, say we had eight shots. Or did I bang my No, head? I did, yeah. I did say Jonathan Douglas. Well, he might as well be. I thought I'd jump back in time. Alan, I'm, getting, Alan cold, I'm getting cold sweats. Although you're <laughs> not far wrong there, I suppose, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, look, I've, I've always said that, yeah, Douglas and, and Judge are two people together. But, I mean, you know, Judge Judge was just huffing and puffing. I mean, he was an, he was a, he was a, in the middle of the front three, when not he, to start with? Sheila I Bennett is on the, is on the wind up. With... I've got to believe this. Lambert got it right technically again. He's the right man to take us up. Shove your protest up. Which is fair enough, Sheila, if that's your opinion. But, uh, um, you know. That's right. Some people got right again. That person, got right again. sorry. <laughs> that person <laughs> there needs to speak to crosswords. I mean, I, I do not. Like every I'm opinion sorry, is welcome. Like against Judge. Every opinion is welcome. Uh, yeah, but that's not right. an opinion. That's... Again, I have, I have a Lambert poster. I have a Lambert poster. Right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna bring Stuart in. Um, Amy oh, Brayden. who are you gonna pick? Uh, <laughs> which one's gonna moan more in the, in the in the WhatsApp group uh, or in the private messages? Uh, Amy, very quickly regarding Alan Judge. We'll come back on Alan Judge, and then I'm gonna have to let you go. I did think he he had some really good moments today, and I think that the good football came through him. I think that he had some assists. The goal sort of came from him and I think okay. that that not enough but that did explain to me why he's in the team it wasn't his worst performance he's yeah. had a no, lot worse wasn't. this season and in the past but Again, Bristol still I, 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 I still don't know why he gets picked week in week out but I mean this wasn't definitely wasn't his worst performance but at least he made he a, he was a bit of a problem at times but the shots were awful he did he he did instigate our fastest move. He's not there for the shots. He's there for the assists. And he, he and did he instigate our fastest move from one end of the pitch to the other. He instigated our move from the fastest move from one end of the pitch to the other. Amy. He took a throw in. We were attacking. It was back to the corner within about 10 seconds. Yep, <laughs> true. Yep. Can't argue. Um, Can't argue with that. Amy, and and it's, um, love it, Joe. If, love it, Joe. If, if you're protesting, who are you protesting against? Evans or, or, or Lambert? Or both? Uh, Lambert, because I've given up hope that anything's going to change with Evans. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, we love you. We'll see you at the weekend. Hope. Yes, we will. Mine. You're on the match day yeah. ticket. We'll see you at the weekend. If I'm going to yeah. say something good about Hawkins, I have to say something good about Judge, because uh, that was one of Judge's better games. 
I'm flabbergasted. To, to, uh, to be I the think... positivity, he, he is still terrible. He is not good enough for our club. No. Exactly. Church, one of his better games, what you gave him there on a shit armor. You know, you got really shit and fairly shit. And it was one of his um, less shit oh, games. Oh. It didn't make any we're, still trudging, we're still <laughs> trudging around in the cespit. <laughs> we're, we're, we are well within the cesspit. That's how much shit we're, we're in. <laughs> welcome in. You've welcome. just watched... How are we doing, Stuart, lads? Stuart, welcome in. you just watched Ipswich Town face Man City. Um, what were your thoughts following that? <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, only if, it, only if it was Man City. <laughs> Well, Only uh, if. <laughs> some of the, some of these comments that you 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 think you know. We well, overall, it. I'm happy we've got three points, but that wasn't a convincing performance, if I'm honest. No, it no, really no. wasn't. Where do you sit? Where's on the Alan Judge debate? Are you? Was it his good game? Was it a bad? Was it an average game? Was it an Alan Judge? It's, it's game? better. It's better than he has been playing. Another one. I'm surprised. No, it again, I, I, no I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say it. Was, I didn't he's think played he a lot better, now, but he's, play, he's never he's not played much better than he did tonight in any other game. Everything has been hmm. up till up until tonight. But I mean, it took Burton for him to sort of show. I mean, that's wow. <laughs> Man United put him on your books, you know. Talking about talking about players that should be on Man United's books. Aaron Drinham, the uh, second coming, came on this afternoon. Uh, did you rate his book? Oh, I'm I, tongue in cheek because many people have been raving about Drennan, saying that he is uh, should start X, X, Y, and Z. Do you believe that, Stuart? Are you a, are you a Drennan fan? Um, I'm sort of like fifty fifty. He shows he... good moments, but as a whole of you, you know a complete player, he he's not good enough, is he? He's the nearly man. He nearly scores. It's always a near. He was unlucky not to score for the time of the night. He got the ball to him. He controlled it really well in a tight area. I got a good shot off. You know, it was straight at the keeper. But, you know, for the time he was on, I don't think he'd done any worse than Hawkins. Yeah, but in 20 years' time, when I'm talking to my son, I won't say to him, oh, yeah, Aaron Drennan. Yeah, he nearly scored a great goal at Burton. Do you know that? Ne- yeah, he nearly did. No, I, I'm, no you, I can't. You're still going to be talking about Marcus Stewart. Well, in 20 yeah, years' time. Strikers like that, yeah. unfortunately. In 20 years' time, we'll be talking about how crap we that, are right now. No, That's that what great we'll win against about. Burton. Oh, that great oh. win against, yeah. <laughs> oh, the how great that is. is. Mark, it's, like, it's, a, it's, it's a where were you when town beat Burton? <laughs> 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 you remember how where bad you will things get when we do that? Well, the way we're talking tonight, I think we're there. Well, the things are all bad, Neil, aren't they? I mean, I, I can't harp on about all the past because I, I, I really feel sorry for the younger fans that have not seen a decent football match at Portman Road. Michael, be with me on this, you know. And I mean, I'm I'm 47, so I've I've come through the, you know, the Kieran Dyer, the Matt Holland, the um, even going back to Romeo Zondervan and John Walk, and you know, even Frankie updates, you know. Um, we are really piss poor at the moment, um, and and you get the younger fans say, "Oh, stop being so negative." We can't help it. The guys like me and Mike, because it wasn't so long ago for us. And it seems like yesterday, you know, when we were seeing the, the you know the the, the playoff game at, at Bolton, and the football was unbelievable, you know. And it's just we know it's we know we are better than this. We're a better club than this, and we. Didn't have lots of money then. Lots of money. We just had everyone on side, everyone playing for the club, everyone bought into what their philosophy was, and I don't think we've got it. No, I don't think I we've got it. I always have to pretend to myself that we never were that team because I just make myself unhappy otherwise. Because we are just not that team anymore. That is not us. Know. We and no, I can't yeah. ever see us get, getting back there. It's, it, it's, 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 just to think of what we used to be just actually upsets me. And we're, I it's just a sad state of affairs here. Really... Our best players in our team at the moment wouldn't even get in that squad or wouldn't even get in that first level. No, nope. they wouldn't, well, they wouldn't even they wouldn't be in our academy, the, would they? They wouldn't get in the, they wouldn't get, yeah, 100% they wouldn't get in the academy of, of uh, 90, but, uh, 99. But it's where we are. Uh, and there are positives coming through. You know, I mean, there's kids done, had another fashion today. We've got Elkin Baggett coming through. We've got these youngsters coming through. So, 
it can be a transitional sort of phase for us. I know we keep saying it, where it might be a case in two or three years' time, we're going to have a bloody good first team out there, and it, and it might rob us up, rob us up a couple of leagues. But yeah. yeah, are we prepared to wait for it? Well, this is it. This is what I keep saying, isn't it, Johnny? You've, you've said that word I keep mentioning, the transition, and and it's you've got to have ambition while you transition. Still, that's that's the key, and and that's why I'm still a t- I'm a top six guy. Much to Mike's annoyance, I'm a top six. If we're not in the top six, that's when I'm getting a bit. He maybe should go, but when we're in the top six, we're doing kind of what I would expect from this football team because this football club. I'm sorry, this but this bunch of players. <coughs> Would be a great bunch of players if our name was Crew or Northampton, just being promoted, if we were Gillingham. But we're Ipswich, so we always expect that little bit more. But really, looking throughout it, Mike, is it, it's, it's not a, anything but a top six squad. It's not a, a, a run, run up. It's not a going to run away the league type squad, is it? I disagree. I totally disagree. I think with the Ranger, I think we could be a, I think we could be a top, top two club. I think, honestly, genuinely, think we, you can only see, it's not, look, yeah, okay, we could argue that, our, you know, some of our players aren't good enough, but the reality is, is that we all, why is it so many fans can see that the formation is killing us, and yet our so-called, our so-called manager, who quite frankly is inept, is, you know, doesn't see it. I mean, we scored with what well, until tonight. We scored the same goals as Swindon, who sit fourth from bottom. I mean, that's just a, yeah. you know that's that's sure. where we are. That's not promotion. That's not promotion. Yeah. We're playing. We're not playing well. We've got. We're one dimensional. Teams come to us and they know what to expect. We're going to play it around the back for about twenty minutes. And if we go forward and can't go forward, we pass it back again. And then what happens? Chambers or or Ward or Cornell hoofs it long, or McGuinness, and where did that end up? Ended up conceding a goal from it. You know, it's, it's League it's, One. It's, it, it's League One. It, we should be top two. Yeah, we should be though, top two. Yeah. When when you said if we can't go forward, I heard the fans booing while watching the, watching the game because we don't try to go forward enough. The amount of times that the the midfielders don't even turn out, that is actually something that Scoose will do. He he will at least let the ball run across him and he will try to go the other way. Whereas a lot of our players are just, oh, oh, I don't want it and giving it straight back to the man that, you know, gave it to him. And then he ends up putting it and, and we go further and further back to the point that, Oh, how have we ended up with it at our goalie? It should never have got to that far. How many times tonight did you see Hughes get the ball and then immediately hoof it sideways or pass it back? They never, see, apart from when he got that goal, there never seemed to be a point where he was far enough forward to actually do anything with it. It was always just give it sideways. Absolutely and pass it back. spot on. Absolutely. I've been having this conversation, Steve, with um with another fan on social media today. They're saying, "Oh yeah, this." <laughs> Uh, why do you why do you want to go back to football? And I'm trying to get through to some fans that direct football doesn't mean hoofball or long ball. It, just because you're saying four four two and I want to play direct football, they go, Oh what do you want to hoof the ball for? Direct football is not hoofball. Direct football is you get the ball and you look to play it positively, look to play forward. You know, twenty five years. It's not a yeah. like long you ball. Can... You can make positive touches, positive first touches to get your head up looking the right way and or you can drive at players. It, it, positive is, as you say, di- direct, positive, attacking football. It doesn't necessarily mean that long ball all the time. No, it it Hughes plays like the football is a hand grenade mug. <laughs> I mean, it's like the typical hot potato, isn't it? Are they scared to keep hold of the ball in loose possession? Um... It, I hate to say it, this, it, but I, I think we are missing excuses at holding mid, because oh, that would allow that would allow Dazel to go forward. I'm not I'm not a fan of Skews. I think he's, but I think he's not a bad player at this level. I've seen enough of him. He turns on, like, he turns I, on. We've got to let him go. I, Even next I season, know, people, I mean, people, people, people have got let Chambers go. People have got to let, let, not, let Chambers go. They've got to let Skews go for next. If you're looking forward to next season, they've got to be replaced. I agree. 
I agree. But what I'm saying is, is we're playing Dizel in this holding role, and 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 he's wasted. He just needs to go forward, further forward. You know, he, it's right. he needs it's, to go forward. Ping, 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 ping. Yeah, it's his preferred role. Yeah. It's it's just preferred role though. Let's That's what he wants to do. So let's now round it up. So Peterborough at the weekend. So let's stay together with myself, Rob, and Amy. Stuart, we'll kick you off because you, you've just come in. So what do you expect from the Peterborough game? Do you expect three points? Uh, are you feeling confident? And then we'll go to Johnny, then Mike, then Steve, then Neil, and we'll round the show up. 45 minutes. Well, if I'm honest, I'm not feeling that confident. Okay. So but a draw is a good result for you? or do you, do you, do I, you I would see? take a draw. I would take a draw, but... I'm sort of like leaning towards we're going to lose that one. Okay. <laughs> Adam seven Flat one. says we'll lose 7 1. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> excuse for fuck's sake, get Mike off for that coming. I'm so close. <laughs> yes, Coach. Yes, Coach. <laughs> I'm, so yes, so I'm not saying we should play him. I said we need. <laughs> no, there's no excuse yeah. for praising excuse. Johnny. Oh, come we... on. Now again, it, don't it? I'll be shocked. I'll be shocked. We need stuff if we get a draw. Um, okay. I don't think my anxiety will hold out to watch the game, so I might be playing that Greens better. Um, so, so, so. Fair enough. No, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, Johnny, we love you, we appreciate you, and you, Stuart. Mike? I said that we'd get four points out of the next three games. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I'm going to stand by that. I think we might scrape a draw against against them but my, one my heart my heart says draw my head says loss i can't see us winning i can't see us okay. winning but so yeah but yeah another great show tonight lads so yeah thanks. we love you mike cheers we mike. Really do we cheers, appreciate mike. you buddy. Lads, look after yourself normal. we'll see it we love you appreciate you uh she's come back like a bad smell thank you dear what do you want downs I'm just trying to sort out my washing. I've, I think I've destroyed my Chris, someone's Christmas jumper within the washing, and I think that's, I think that's oh, a, a, an omen. <laughs> While you're here, year. yeah. You looking forward to the Peterborough game? Very much so. Yeah, I'll ask I'm you. So at glad I. <laughs> but what do you think? Sat here, a few Pinot Grigios down. What do you think going to be the outcome on Saturday? I think that the, the two games that we've just watched. Uh, Saturday and today are a signal of, of what's going to happen on Saturday. I think that um, I think we played our best against on on Saturday. I think we played our best. I think tonight we had a chance to really ramp it up and show what we were capable of, and we haven't. Mm-hmm. And I have absolutely no hope. Absolutely no hope. When you when you ask me to do a bold prediction, it's going to be yeah. I'll be happy if we lose one nil. Okay, I've got a lot of three... Uh, well, Nick Muller's come through with the town positivity. I love Nick. Welcome, Neil. Welcome, Nick. Uh, Ipswich three, Peterborough one. But I've got a lot of three nil Pompeys. Uh, well, or Peterborough's, but this one's a Pompey. I don't know if... It, that was last week. Um, spoiler alert, it wasn't three nil, but it didn't go well. Um, <laughs> we love you, Amy. Steve, what do you think ahead of the weekend? Uh, I'm not positive at all. I'm quite glad I'm, I'm working through it, to be honest. Um, two nil. Uh, two nil loss. Jesus Christ. I can't see us doing any better. This is negative. Mate, come on. We were awful tonight against the bottom of the table. We're not going to beat him. 2 0 loss. Neil, the, the king of positivity. Mr. Positivity himself. Give it to us straight. Well, last season, when, you know, near the start, when we were playing our best stuff, and I thought, come on, we can keep this crack and run going. And then we played Pompey. And. It wasn't good. It, well, it was amazing compared to this season, but um, <laughs> that's a comparison, yeah. isn't it? That's... <laughs> that's the the fact the fact is, w- with if we accept that we are who we are, we have to come out like Burton did against us. Uh, well, your oiled machine, you know, gritty, determined, well organised, and just give Peterborough a, a match, basically. That's all we have to do. Okay. Um, Simo, concede early. It could be a heavy defeat. Lee Bayless with no one up front who can score. I'm going 3-0. Posh. A lot of 3-0 poshes. I might put a 5 on that. 
Alan, we'll be battered. Heaven knows we'll be miserable then. Nick Muller, played awful and still won. Be positive. Absolutely. Well, they always say after a win, you should never get too high, which is lucky because in this group, that ain't going to happen, is it? Um, and after a defeat, you should never get too low. Well, if we do get beat, I don't know how low this is going to go because we've already chewed it all over. But I'll give you 24 hours, no, 48 hours to come up with some more uh, Peterborough thoughts because we're back at 8.30 Thursday night. Myself, The Cruncher, Matt Phillips and Carl Fuller to give you a Peterborough preview. Um, we'll have a look at this game. We'll look at the Peterborough game and we'll, we'll bring some thoughts. We want you to join us live as always. So, um, yeah, think on it. You might... You might turn it from a 3-0 posh win to a 2-0 posh win. <laughs> you might find some positivity from somewhere. But uh, until Thursday, 8.30, you have been absolutely awesome. The town of one, we're sitting in... Hang on, we're in League One, I know that much. Fifth, and uh, yeah, life's good. Life's rosy. Is that right, Neil? Of course. Beautiful. Right, with love, with care, we will see you all on Thursday. <laughs> Bye.